if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and my channel name is dr javed ikbal kokar lectures on fringe thank you very much hello good morning i am dr javed ikbal kokar professor of forensic medicine and toxicology as we are discussing thanatology and continuing with the thanatology we are heading forward and in this lecture the measurement of heat loss in the dead body that is recording of temperature of dead body and it is done by thermometer which is a special thermometer marked from 0 to 50 degree celsius graduated in degrees and are used to measure post mortem temperature which is called thermometer as we know that the clinical measurements are usually taken with the help of clinical thermometers from the mouth or in the axilla while at autopsy the temperature of the dead body is measured by taking normally the rectal temperature the normal rectal temperature is the best measurement and it is 1 degree higher than the recording from the mouth but in certain conditions the subhepatic or vaginal measurements may also be made now the recording of temperature for estimation of body temperature the tip of the measuring device should be inserted at least 3 to 4 inches into the rectum it should be left in situ for at least 2 to 3 minutes as the temperature varies from place to place the thermometer once inserted should not be disturbed at least four readings are taken at about half an hour interval so as to determine the rate of cooling no matter how accurate the measuring instrument may be or how elaborate the procedure of the ascertaining the body temperature is even then the rectal temperature at the time of death can never be known so the rectal temperature should be recorded as early as the body is received or at the time of death now the important precautions if there is any possibility of some sexual intercourse whether homosexual or heterosexual no interference with the clothing or the perineum should be made until the forensic examination is complete that is the temperature is recorded no instrument should be inserted into the rectum or vagina before the trace evidence has been sought and is collected that is semen hair fibers and other materials in such cases then subhepatic temperature is recorded now there are certain methods for calculation of temperature hourly calculation and there is a newton formula that average fall is equal to 1.5 degree celsius per hour and the hourly calculation is unreliable and is not applicable the rate of loss of heat is directly proportional to the temperature difference between the surface of the object and the surroundings the required data for the calculation that the temperature of the body at the time of death cause of death temperature of the environment and the temperature of the seat where the body is lying so these are the required data for the estimation of temperature under every circumstances it has been observed 
that the fall may be presumed as 1.5 degree Celsius per hour plus minus 2 degree Celsius, keeping in mind the cooling curve. An important note is that other cri criteria are also more reliable, which should be preferred than the temperature for the estimation of time since death. Lister and Renton had devised certain formulae. That is 98 minus 6, 98 decimal 6 minus the rectal temperature divided by 1.5 gives hours after the death. Then Meshaw and her formulae from an unclothed body of an adult for the first 18 hours. In initial three hours, one degree Fahrenheit per hour, next three hours, two degree Fahrenheit per hour, in the next three hours, two degree Fahrenheit per hour, and in the next three, the 1.5 degree Fahrenheit per hour. So this is a, a roughly estimation. And during the next 12 hours, minus 15 hour is equal to one point that is 12 to 15 hours after that 1.3 degree Fahrenheit per hour. So this is a rough estimation. So generally the body cools at the rate of two degree Fahrenheit for the first six hours and thereafter one degree Fahrenheit per hour till it attains the environmental temperature. So summary of today's lecture is that we have discussed the recording of temperature from the dead body. And it is done by thanometer, which is a special thermometer, which is calibrated from zero to 50 degree. And it is recorded from the rectum or vagina. Then we have discussed important precaution that there is, if there is some allegation of the sexual assault, sexual interference, then the uh, recording from the vagina or the rectum should not be made and the subhepatic recording should be done. So this is important in sexual assaults. Thank you very much. That's all about the lecture of today. Take care, Allah Hafiz.